Okay, so there was a thing, uh, I think like two or three years ago. Oh no, it might've been longer than that. It just, this still feels kind of recent, but there was a thing called Infinity Warps where they like got a fusion of Marvel characters. Like you had Ghost Panther, which was Black Panther and Ghost Rider. You had Iron Hammer, which was Thor and Iron Man. You had Weapon Hex, which was a fusion of Wolverine and Scarlet Witch. Um, and you had one dude that was Doctor Strange and Captain America. And then my personal favorite, which was Arachnite, which was Spider-Man mixed with Moon Knight. And each of those five characters got their own miniseries. I think they got like two or four issues. I don't have those. I'm just talking about Infinity Warps. The only Infinity Warps I have are the two anthology ones. And I don't know... I, I haven't read the other ones. I haven't read the Ghost Panther ones. I haven't read the Arachnite ones. But I have read the anthology Infinity Warps. And this is going to have to be a C tier. And this is because I'll explain a little bit. It's a good concept. Like first up in volume one, you have She-Hulk and Black Widow. You have the Terrific Two, which the powers of the Fantastic Four, you know, you got Johnny Storm gets the powers of Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, and Ben Grimm gets the powers of Human Torch and the Thing. So he's like a flaming rock man, which is cool. And then you have, I forget what they call her, but she's like Squirrel Girl and Moon Girl. And then volume two, you got Kamala Kang, who is, instead of Kamala Khan, being able to embiggen parts of her body she embiggens reality however that works and she goes through time and there's like a time paradox thing that happens you have wolverine mixed with emma frost so he's telepathic instead of adamantium claws he has diamond claws looks cooler but that's kind of a downgrade because adamantium is stronger than diamond by a long shot and then you have probably my favorites which are the punisher pack which is the power pack but they're like vengeful evil superheroes those are all good concepts right well, the problem is you have three stories packed into one issue. So a single issue is already kind of short enough. But if you divide that in thirds, just the stories are really short and they're not given enough time to flesh out what they're telling. And they're only like a couple of pages. So the stories are entertaining, but because they're too short to be taken seriously or have kind of any character development or stuff happen, it is kind of a C tier. Like for the Kamala Kang one, you just show that she gets her powers and she says, maybe it'd be cool to go back in time and meet someone. And she goes back here and prevents the death of someone, but that causes her dad to get killed. And then she's like, oh, I got to go back again. But then a bunch of other ones of her sponsors, don't listen to her. You got to do this. You got, and, then, and then it just ends. So they're short and they have abrupt ends. Like, you have one short battle with the Punisher pack. I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pages is not really enough to establish a character. So they're good stories. If you want short little stories, they're, they're, they're all right. But they only have room to make, like, five pages. Because they got to fit three stories into, like, a like a 20 page issue and also I have to have room for advertisements so they're just not long enough to be defining so but they're still entertaining still if you want like a little taste of infinity warps I'd recommend it but it's it's nothing like blow your mind special so it's just kind of an average comic C tier good in concept but too short and has to be like C tier I would put it like mid C tier not low C tier